Hi, good day again. Uh, welcome to the part two video of the 23 foot six uh, uh, Scorpion Sting. Uh, we've done a part one before, which is an external. Uh, we do internal. So the switch we showed you in uh, by the by the door, which is the 12 volt isolation switch. Once that's on, all the light switches uh, inside caravan, all the lights 12 volts on inside caravan. So we start with the front of the van, so the bedroom. So you've got the little blue light uh, switch here, turns to blue light, is night light. <clears throat> Turn to the bright uh, LED light and then hold on to it. Now you can dim them if you want to, just like such. And cycle set off position. This light switch here, it's a two way light switch for the dual one suit area. So you can see the one suit light off. So that's another disturbing, non disturbing the party. There's another <coughs> light option as well. It's a second light switch in the, uh, in the bathroom itself. Uh, this side here will we'll, uh, look at the, the circle fans. So circle fans are nice and simple. Make sure you be gentle with them. Uh, this is a locking mechanism, unlock the position for the fan. So you can move in different directions, set it to whatever position you like. Make sure you lock it back up. On the side, you've got a button here, which is uh, the top one here is your fan symbol. So it's fan speed in one, two, three, and cycles to off position. So if you are parked on speed number one, uh, in the bottom, there's a switch here for the clock symbol. The clock symbol basically it's the uh, the timer. So push the button, you can see here the number three, which is three hour timer, six, nine, and 12 hours timer. And then timer cycles to off position, which means it will be continuously on until you physically turn it off. Uh, so cycle the fan to off position, put the fan into the uh, traveling position. So pack it down, lift it up again, make sure in position here, just like that. Um, you've got a blind, so you've got a rolling blind, which is nice and simple, up and down, it's nice and easy. This is a traveling position. <coughs> We'll show you the window as well. It's a very simple step forward. Make sure you don't apply any pressure. Push or pull something that apply too much uh, pressure. So basically opening the window blade just like that. And window's open. And when, when it's open, make sure you go slower. You can hit the click mechanism. And you stop. That's one. Position number two. Position three, which is the further as it goes out. Then lift it up a little bit. It will release that to lock it position. If you are parked at number one position, uh, you can you don't have to go all the way out, so you just got a little bit more between the first and second position, then you release that and we lock in position. On the side, it's a two grooves here for the a bit of breeze to come in, the breather, windows open with that flapping in the wind, just like that. To lock it down properly in traveling position, make sure you put the, the front one first, and then you can lock the other one down. It's a traveling position. For the windows, uh, the blinds, so you can see the top one always use two hands, equal pressure both sides, top one to the bottom, the locks in here, and you can adjust that up and down just like that. Release that about put it halfway through, lift it up, push down manually, push it up manually, nice and simple. Uh, any question on that, give us a I'll explain you later on, but it's only trial and error, so you learn as you go with experience. Uh, in the bedroom, you also have a uh, uh, rain sensor system. So the rent system basically remote controlled, pretty straight, straightforward, explanatory. There's a button on top, which is a manual override. Uh, so you can push the on button, it will automatically turn the fan on. The same with the button uh, on the remote, you can do the same. We'll go up, uh, so you go up and down, there's the air situation, but you can turn the air in or out, and you can see the fan stop one position, it'll go the other way, which is the external position here. Uh, you can adjust the temperature, the temperature settings, and that's the speed settings, in and out. Uh, you want to leave the rent system on all the time in the range, it shuts it automatically, nice and easy by itself. So we'll turn it off now, the little uh, lever, the little black colour uh, button turning off, there's your menu override, just in case you've got the battery or something gets stuck, and it'll go by itself. Make sure you leave the 12 volt light on until it does its thing, go up or down, uh, before you shut it down. Uh, we'll show you the bed, under the bed, nice and simple, so we lift up the bed, we'll take we'll go on. TV, 24 Smart TV, we'll show you where it goes after a second. We, before that, we just have the black, there's this grey levers uh, bracket. So basically, putting them close together will make the mattress or bed softer. Uh, putting it across makes it harder, you can see it, you can pressure off. And you've got another setting here, you can see, and you can just set here, adjust, and you can set there, you can adjust to see what position you'd like to have. This fan's also fitted with the diesel heater, so the unit sitting here, as you can see, Sort of cover on, so basically you don't need to touch this, it's automatic working, just allows a bit of a, uh, things to storage and stuff like that, not knocking over, that's the unit. We'll show you the controller how it works uh, on the diesel heater, we'll put the bed down, so we can put that off like that. back in position over here, 
it rest is up to you to work out how does adjustment work for you. See a couple of knives and get experience and see that. Now on this one you've got the controller here. So it is here. So it says here press long press for two seconds. So take the plastic film off to turn it on. So you can set the temperature, whatever temperature you like, to push and circle, so you can select different. So 36 degrees Celsius, for example. How many minutes you want to answer? 10 minutes. Push it on, and you can see the red light goes on. We'll read. The light will go on. It's a bit of hot day today, so it might not grease to that. Uh, in circle here, you can see the heating. You can turn it on or off position, or you can do the settings. So you can 36 degrees Celsius, 10 minutes on. You can have fan. So you can circle down fan when it starts flashing. So you can have fan for 30 minutes and whatnot. And you see that turn blue. So once the setting is uh, uh, set up by itself, blue means it's all working normally. Red means it needs to finish the setting. Uh, going down there, you can have different settings. You can have uh, like a calendar setting. Uh, you can have a heater start on a particular day, uh, a particular hour. Let's like say if you want to heat at 7 o'clock at night, gone to 12 o'clock at night, you can have the setting temperature as well. So go through it. Uh, there is a DVD provided uh, by... Uh, the diesel heater company, the medic, uh, and there's very good reference guide to it. There's plenty of YouTube videos as well to refer back to the controller. It's nice and simple, straightforward. Play around with it. Back symbol goes back to the normal. Press and hold for a few seconds, and it automatically turns off. That means that there's no nothing on it, which, which, which means it's turned off. Uh, so hopefully that's nice and straightforward. Other than that, you've got the double 240, double USB space power point. Power point's on the other side as well. Nice and easy as well. On this side, you've got a connection to a TV. So the TV's got a bracket uh, built in that goes fits in here, and that's another sort of clip that goes on top. Once you connect it up, on the top here, you've got the, the TV's got all the connections here. So you've got all the uh, uh, power for the TV, antenna connection for the TV, and you've got our settings for your uh, the satellite system, which is right here. So once you're parking, you make sure the the power for the TV is turned off uh, before you plug everything in, then you can turn it back on. The black button here, which is like a booster signal, uh, the booster switch has to be on, the green light has to be on all the time, it boosts it itself automatically when it needs to. Uh, other than that, you've got the uh, double 240 power points here for future reference. So if the fuse has popped up, you can always use the 240 uh, connection. The 240 power also comes uh, with the, <coughs> with the uh, package as well. You can use that as well on the backup. Coming down here, you've got a shower. So obviously, you can open that shower door has to be locked. So unlocking like this, you can see the black color uh, 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 towel. Now the the shower rose, as you can see, has to be uh, you know sort of parked in either bucket, put it in a bucket, or a towel, a rag, something like that. Make sure you put it on the ground so it doesn't scratch, it doesn't knock anything over. You're not supposed to leave like that traveling. Same goes the TV. The TV has to come out when you're traveling. On the top here, over here, we've got a light switch here, so we've got a blue colour light switch, and you've got our same switch for an LED light. Exhaust fan, so you can open this, and there's a switch on the corner here, you can put the exhaust for the shower. So you've got the exact same system about the toilet as well for exhaust. Once you finish, make sure you lock it down easy, and make sure you put the lock on this. On this side here, obviously uh, the same uh, sort of uh, powered hatch, as you can see the exhaust system. Window double 240, and this is the second switch. Uh, it's two way switch, one of the one in the bedroom, second one in here as well. Also, uh, and cold water connection, nice and simple. You've got a medicine cupboard, uh, the meter on top. Uh, we'll show you toilet now. So, toilets, um, we showed you part number one, we showed you outside the setup, the empty, and things like that. In here, you've got a, like these four symbols here. So, allow. If you're free camping, then the water pump has to be on to get the water to come in. Allow push that to release the water, come through, release it, and then we'll stop. The cassette is not sitting properly outside that light will flash, which means they check the cassette, make sure the cassette is sitting properly. The second one here, if you forgot to turn the water pump on uh, and you are doing free camping or you have uh, plugged in the water, forgot to turn the tap on, that light will flash, which means it needs water. Double check the water connection. The cassette half full you can see here it clearly explained here make sure that uh, it's been followed so that gives you an idea that you're about halfway through uh, make sure be prepared to be empty uh, and make sure that do not use it when it comes with this light which means the set is full outside so very important to keep an eye on this uh, lights anything like flash up there might be something that you you need to work on uh, as far as the toilet itself using the toilet so there's a little 
little gray lever here, which we, it's, if you look at right for the first part of the video, they will, uh, that's the same fitting that comes from outside as part of the cassette. So it has to be closed all the time when you're traveling or when you're using the toilet. Uh, when, you use it, when you want to use the toilet, uh, use it flush, so open it, use it, flush it, and then push it back. So it's very important to stop the smell coming through and things jumping up and down. So very important to getting used to it. Keep it closed all the time when you want to use it. Open, use, flush, and push the lever back in position. Nice and simple. Any question? Again, the video videos refer to the instruction manual as well. To uh, refer to that. There's a little LED light here underneath. As you can see here, it's touched LED light. Uh, that's one there. Once a twelve volts on, all the lights are on for yourself. Uh, coming down here, you got the, the sliding door here. The sliding door is a bungee strap on the top to, to open up. So lock it up. So I'll show you how it works. Inside here, you got a foot latch as well to start having it in proper position. So put it on the on side. And then the slide door and that's another energy point here in the It's very important to make sure the throwing position that has to be locked and the bungee strap has to be positioned. They will stop you jumping up and down and uh, going away from the position. Um, here, obviously, you've got a fridge. You've got a compressor fridge uh, option here. I'm trying to put the wrong end. So, nice and simple. It's turned off at the moment. We'll show you how that works. So, basically, you there's only one button as you can see, same as the diesel here controller. So you push the button for like five seconds uh, and you'll see the light will come on. The screen is coming on as you can see. Okay, and then on this one you also have, you can see there's a little LED showing you. So when you push it, it comes to here. You can push it, then you can change to different uh, setting on the uh, how cooler you want and things like that. Then you lock it down to medium. Then you can push it down to the next option, which highlights here, which is the symbol for your different modes. And you can push it to user modes. So you've got four modes to choose from performance, silence, uh, eco, and, and turbo. Uh, performance is a good old rounder mode, trying to see how you go on, on that. If you things are filled in and you have a long distance driving, you can put an eco mode as well. Uh, if you're not using, if you're not opening too many times, you'd be right to uh, maintaining the coolness and not using that much power. Uh, the fan symbol is locked in with a particular a style, a particular mode you're on. If you put in a boost mode, the fan will to switch to two, which means it's exhaust fan outside to cool the compressor down. Uh, so it's nice and simple. There's more settings in there if you like to. Instruction, there's plenty of, uh, of videos on uh, YouTube as well for you to refer back to. Okay, so while we're here, you've got a TV, which is saying this is a fixed TV, so that doesn't have to be taken out uh, when you're traveling. Uh, there's a separate remote, everything given to you in instruction manuals and everything like that. The connection for a 12 volt side here, double 240 connection here. This computer cap for feed the wire through, it's just nice and simple. Uh, coming down this side, you've got the hot cold water connection, which is hot and cold, as you can see. Uh, this one here is your dedicated drinking water uh, uh, tap. Which has got a separate spout in it, uh, so it will be separately done. That some separate set water pump as well. We'll show you that in the water pump when we show you inside uh, the electrical cupboard where the water pump switches are. So that's that. Um, in here, you got the, okay, you got the uh, the washing machine. So basically, nice and simple. Here's the washing machine. Very simple. You can the water level. You can adjust the process. The water level come down the lights here. High or low, you can adjust the process. You can do wash, spin, spin, or rapid. And then you can just start and pause. Power on and off, and nice and simple. Here, you take the little basket out for using the washing machine. Put, check it close, and then put a basket on side, and then start setting the signal. LED will flash up automatically how many minutes it's going to take for you to wash the cycle. Uh, nice and simple, like any washing machine home. Uh, once you finish using it to travel position, that, that has to be in the right position. Make sure it clicks so that stops the ball moving and then uh, nice and easy. So, the double 240 power points here uh, on this side is for kitchen. This side, you've got the uh, uh, your uh, kitchen appliances basically, you've got the exhaust, so you can have it just light on. Exhaust fan speed number one, two, and three, and everything turns off, which is the on button here. So you can have just a light on if you want to, or a fan on if you want to. Uh, other than that, we got the cooker, so basically it's nice and simple. So you got an igniter, uh, ignite, the gas will fall through, and click on it. First time, I ignite it, it is go. Take a few seconds, but then release that uh, once you have a regular gas flow coming through. All of that's marked in nice and simple. This particular one here, which is saying 120 to 150, obviously that's for the oven. 
second ignition point we can't figure out it now because of the plastic in it but it's a straightforward setup then you've got the same system for a grill so you've got a grill which is belongs to this one click and tie it it will come on nice and easy one of the very important things is this part you remember is to 240 so you've got the 240 here which is basically one to six is the hot settings for hot plate make sure you <coughs> uh cool this down or make sure you put a hand like that make sure it's cooled down before you shut the lid uh, if you are cooking something in there and, and uh, boiling water uh, boiling say uh, uh, oil or something overflowing uh once you shut that down they will push that button here which is the automatic uh sort of cut off for the gas and the safety uh, but it doesn't do the same thing for a hot plate it might be still hot so it's very important to make sure of that when you shut it down for trolling position make sure that's nice and locked in and make sure you put that down as well. Nice and easy. Uh, next one here, we've got a fusion system. So fusion system basically is a touchscreen panel system as well, so you can use a touchscreen and things like that. Uh, go back to normal. Holding that, look, having quick press on the, uh, the power button will mute the system, and same thing to release that. To go to channel settings up and down, all means all the speakers inside and outside go up and down in the same setting. You can have just a zone one highlighter, which is internal speakers. And you can have just external speakers like push on that you can adjust external speaker going up and down as well zone three and zone four are nil, uh, zone four are nil so don't try to find it uh, or you can put an old position and work right now coming back to main screen you can change the different source settings so you've got an am fm auxiliary one bluetooth optical different options and you've got the uh, set of uh, usbs fitted here you can see, sorry, the short eyes can't see much, but you can see the USB is in there. Uh, so that's your select option. Bluetooth, you connect your phone, works well automatically. Uh, you also got an automatic or manual setting, so you can find a channel manually. Just push on a button, manual, automatic, or you can store one of the channels, radio channel as a favorite channels. There are plenty of other settings as well in the main settings. You've got AM, uh, FM settings, your audio settings, brightness for the screen, so you can have a different level of brightness. So play around with it. It's pretty straightforward, nice and easy. There is a plenty of instruction manuals given to you as well. And obviously this, this is just to change the different radio channels automatic mode. It automatically works on that. So you can rename the zones as well, internal, external, if you like to. We'll leave it factory standard for now when you can play around with it nice and simple. The external unit works in conjunction with this. The only difference is the external unit is going on power. So even this power on, make sure external uh, uh, remote control in the uh, entertainment box has to be powered on separately as well. While we're here, we'll show you all the uh, future reference uh, settings for your satellite system. So all the uh, RCA set of RCA is given to you. This is the antenna connection. Uh, and then this is your, your positive and negative uh, for your 12 volt connection already given to you. So it's a future reference. Roof is blocked in already. Uh, so you can just tap it in and all, everything's ready for you to go. There's a double 240 connections there as well. So you can also have the power as well as the 12 volt. Depends on what's this vast box you're using or what's kind of set box you're using. <coughs> Next door, we've got a microwave. So nice and simple. Open microwave just like that. One thing to remember microwave, we're trying to take the plate off. And we're trying to just say here, just in the corner. So that's not going anywhere. Uh, stops you jumping up and down. Other than that, it's a small microwave, 30 second start. Uh, at a time, you can flow settings and microwave different settings, very different clock different settings that are given to you as well. Uh, obviously, you've got Windows, it's the same as the Windows we showed you, the fans are fitting on this one. We'll show you the lounge system here, but you basically underneath it is a black color lever. It's a bit of black color lever, you just hold it, it's like a brake control system, so you can release that by lifting it up. You can adjust that in different direction. You can pull it out, you can swirl it completely, and you can use the access like that. To make a bed out of that, there's a cushion on this to make a bed out of that, so I'll show you how it works. So use that, adjust that in, find the cavity. So here's the little black color tap here by foot. Once you release it, you don't have to keep the foot on it, there's a release now, put a bit of pressure on it. And then you see it's fine itself in position, just like that, and it locks in. Once you lock in, the cushion just goes on basically just like that. And you bed out of that, nice and tight. There you go, you can put a, a just protector cover or something like that, so it's a nice big size bed. Okay, once you're done, stick it out nice and simple. Slide it out a little bit so it's not scratching against the leather. Okay. And then you push that button there. Nice and easy. Okay, other than that, in the pot drawer, you'll see here nice glass pot drawer uh, and all those uh, fittings, which is your 
fuel and safety day reverse camera fitting, you've got a TV 12 volt connection, 240, sorry, 240 connection and the instruction manual, uh, you've got a remote control for your rain sensor hatch, uh, TV remote control, you've got a second TV remote control as well which is one in the bedroom, aircon remote control, bunch of keys you can reduce to a fair bit so there's double up and triple up keys. Uh, you've got a second TV connection as well for 240. This is all belongs to Fusion. You can see the plain instruction there. The extra sets of uh, cabling is supplied to you as a as a looms for making extra connection for subwoofers and and whatnot. So you can use that as well. There are a couple of uh, silicon uh, bracket for internal and external unit. Internal is fine. You can do external if you want to. It just protects against the direct uh, moisture and that sort of things. So go through it all. All the paperwork regarding to a lot of instruction manuals, all in the blue uh, uh, sort of uh, <coughs> package here. Inside, you also got the Vegas certificate, electro certificate, plumber certificate, everything like that. And this is the one we talked when we discussed about the uh, airbag system. So that belongs to airbag, that's a connection, that's a joiner, that's your uh, pressure, air pressure sort of uh, monitor, extra spare filters, that's a whole package given to you here. So go through them all, any question, give us the L, but it's uh, pretty straightforward. It's always good to read and uh, you know what's what, if you can want to make more detailed views out of it. So it's there. Come and put that on later on for more of you. Uh, well, over here, we'll also show you one of the last bits here, which is your, your switches. So basically, your switches here, so you've got a four touch screen switches and you've got the three manual switches. So this one here is your external light. External light. This one here is your internal mood lighting, as you can see. This one here is a light belongs on the lounge, lounge area, and this one here is your uh, area, which is your kitchen area. Second last switch here as well. Okay, this one here is your front floodlight, rear floodlight, and the light and offside as well. So take it off. You can put the stickers on if you like. Uh, for the lights, which is uh, here by the entrance door. Uh, hope that completes. So hopefully you have missed anything. Any question you have, feel free to give us a yell. Uh, we'll explain it through the phone uh, and happy days.